Hello everyone. Today's lesson is going to be a little bit different for us. Today is going to be a little more independent uh, as opposed to kind of the summaries that we have been doing in the past. So I want to go through with you what uh, I want you to do today. Hopefully this video is going to be a little shorter uh, as well because there's going to be some independent viewing for you guys to do. So let's just dive right in. Uh, so I'm going to ask you guys for Act 1, Scene 4 of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I'm going to link in the description and I'll put it in Classroom as well and in RenWeb. I'm going to put a link to a YouTube video. This is a scene from the 1968 Zeffirelli version of Romeo and Juliet. And I want you guys to watch through the scene. And after watching it and after reading through it, I want you guys to answer some questions independently about the scene. Again, this is just putting our critical thinking skills and also some of our knowledge of vocabulary to the test. So uh, after you view that video, and if you want to read through it and make sure you understand things, uh, in Google Classroom, I'm going to share something that looks like this. Let me pull this up for you. All right. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna be called Act One, Scene Four. Get this a little bigger for you guys. So I say this, using your critical thinking skills and vocabulary knowledge, I want you to attempt the following questions using the text of Acts, Act One, Scene Four of Romeo and Juliet. Please reference the lines where you find the answers. Okay, so I want you guys just to answer a couple questions for me, but I want you to tell me the lines where you found it. And there's a certain way that you guys uh, need to learn how to cite lines from a play. And so I've demonstrated down here. So you'll have your quote itself. All right. Following the quote, you will uh, include in parentheses where you found it. So the first number is the act. So we're in act one. The second number is the scene. We're in scene four. And the pink numbers are the lines themselves. So I've just put that example for you. You don't need to color code yours. I simply use that so you could see uh, what these numbers stand for. So now there are going to be five questions that I want you guys to try to tackle with Act 1, Scene 4. First, I want you to identify an example of an illusion. Uh, remember, an illusion is like a reference uh, to something historical or uh, literature-based outside of the scope of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, and again, if you guys have questions over what these words are, you can look back in your Quizlet uh, over our last vocab quiz. All right, next one, identify an example of a pun. Remember, pun is essentially our wordplay. Identify an example of foreshadowing. Okay. Uh, we've talked a lot about foreshadowing, hints at what is to come in the future. Number four, identify what type of speech Mercutio gives. And I suppose I'll add this. Uh, what I'm really asking there, is it, uh, is it an aside? Is it a monologue? Or is it a soliloquy? So I want you to try to identify uh, what type of speech it is. And... Uh, no lines are needed for that question. And then for the fifth one, I want you to identify the characterization. Tell me if it's direct or indirect and what character is being characterized. So it's pretty straightforward. You guys are just going to be spending a little more time in the text trying to find these things for me. So like I said, I'm making this video shorter because you guys have more independent work to do today. So you'll be watching the video that's linked down in the description that's also in Classroom and in RenWeb. And then you guys are going to be answering these five questions based on Act 1, Scene 4. Hope you guys have a great day.